Good day everyone, continuing my top 20 album countdown. Hope you've uh, liked what's been on offer so far. Um, sorry if you don't, but uh, music is a very personal thing, isn't it? My tastes admittedly are reasonably limited. All right, uh, we're up to number 16 now, and this is an album I'm pretty confident not many people are going to know. Um, that's fine because uh, they're not a band that was very big and in fact I can't even remember how I stumbled across them. Uh, didn't uh, hang around too long. This album came out in 1995. It's a band from New, New York City. They were called Orange 9mm and this album is their debut called Driver Not Included. Now, uh, if you like um, Helmet, if you like uh, Rage Against the Machine, um, if you like Fagazi, Quicksand, I would strongly recommend you check out this album. It is an absolute beauty. How would you categorise it? Um, probably metal slash funk. Um, and, and that's the great appeal of this album for me. It, it's got a real funky sound. The rhythm section is terrific. Um, so Orange 9mm, who were they? Uh, basically two guys, uh, I guess the brains behind the band, uh, lead vocalist Chucka Mullick, and I've got to admit, I haven't sort of seen him in anything else, um, along with guitarist uh, Chris Trainer, who you may have heard of. He would later go on and join Helmet and make Helmet a four-piece band uh, around the 93, 94 mark. Um, this album, uh, though, is a beauty. starts off with um, my favourite track called Glistening. Um, goes into what was a single from the album, and I think there's a, a clip freely available on YouTube if you're interested in checking it out, and that um, clip is called High Speed Changer. Um, this, this album is one of the few albums I've got where every single track I really, really like. I never want to sort of skip a track, which you usually do with at least one or two tracks on an album. Um, the song, uh, the song list disclaimer is next. Suspect, pissed is a track. Uh, it's American, so it means angry, not intoxicated. Um, uh, a lot of a lot of the songs, funnily enough, just one word titles but they're all very very punchy quite short all uh most songs clocking in around the sort of three to three and a half minute mark i think the whole album in total length is 38 minutes if you want another clue as to the sound of it too this album was produced by dave jordan who was um huge around this time and he produced such acts as alice in chains and and dave jordan uh really managed to get a great uh, rock sound happening so uh, it's a well produced album uh, check out that clip for High Speed Changer it's a pretty good clip and if you like that that is very very representative of the album um, I sort of think of Rage Against the Machine a little bit too not, not so much for the uh, lyrics or necessarily the sound but uh, Chaka Malik the vocalist he does tend to rap a bit well it's not rap but it's it's almost a spoken word delivery uh, coming over the top of that very funky sounding uh, rhythm section and some really crunchy uh, guitar riffs. I do use that word a lot, crunching, but that's sort of how it sounds to me. And um, when I first heard this album, I just couldn't stop playing it, you know, from go to woe. It's just so energetic and vibrant and, and bouncy and... Uh, you know, it's certainly not melodic. Um, if, you, if you want something for nice harmonies and, and uh, you know, beautiful guitar licks, you're not going to get that. But if you like, you know, guitar, bass and drums, riffing, riffarama, um, this is your baby. It's, uh, it's a terrific album. I really can't recommend this highly enough. Um, they would go on to release another couple of albums, which didn't do as well. Split up after that, unfortunately, as a lot of these bands do. But um, this is certainly a great legacy to be remembered by, I think. Terrific band from New York City, if short-lived. The band Orange 9mm and the album, once again, is called Driver Not Included. That is number 16. I'll see you back here for number 15.